Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm be unboxing my July Unplugged box. Um, I am a rep for Unplugged for the summertime. Um, if you use my code Ishmo, you get a percentage off. So yeah, check them out. I love Unplugged and I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and open this box up. And this is the adult box. So here is how everything looks like. So the first thing we get is our Yo QR code to check on the spoilers for this month. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the spoilers on my phone real quick. Okay, so I have it pulled up on my phone now. So this month's theme is Billiful. I'm definitely mispronounced that, but that's the theme for this month. And we just have all of the spoilers right here. So the first thing that I'm seeing is this. And it seems it's inspired by Beach Read by Emily Henreid. And this is a handcrafted body spray. And it smells like green tea, white musk, and sea salt. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, it smells pretty good as well. Yeah. Um, I like the smell of this. This smells really, really good. And it's pretty cool to have. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what's next. The next thing that I'm seeing here is a box right here. Um, the box doesn't tell me anything, so let's go ahead and open it. So it seems like it's a bowl. I have no idea what it's inspired by, but the bowl seems pretty small, but it is pretty good looking. It's really nice. Uh, so let's see what's inspired by. So this is inspired by Outlander. Um, it's part of their collect collectibles they're doing. They're gonna be a total of four, and this is the second one that they have done. Um, so yeah, they're pretty small, but it is really, really cute. So that's really nice. All right, so the next thing I see is this little bag right here. So let's go ahead and open it. Um, I also love the little bag it comes in. I think it's really, really cute. Um, but yeah, this is, um, the Midnight Library, and it is a, um, I have no idea what it is. I think it's just like a, like a roller perfume. Yeah, it is. It smells really good. Um, the scent, I'm really glad that they put the scents on here, because sometimes they don't, but it is Old Bucks Lemongrass Magic, I think. Maybe it's not. Oh, yeah, it's a perfume roller. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's really nice. Um, and it is inspired by the Minna Library by Matt Haig. Um, so, yeah, this is really nice. I really do like the smell of it. So, that's pretty cool. The next thing we have is a book sleeve. So, here's the book sleeve. The book sleeve is really, really pretty. I love that it's purple and it's just a really nice design. It says a room without books is like a body without a soul. This is very pretty and it's a nice well-made um, book sleeve. Really, really nice. The inside is really nice as well. So I really like getting book sleeves. They're very, very cool. And I don't know, this is just a Fandom Neutral. So it's just a library scene book sleeve. Um, so yeah, I do like this. This is really, really pretty. All right, and then I think we only have one item left before we get to the actual book here. So we have some bookends and I like receiving bookends, I think they're really cool, but I really don't have a use for them, but I do like receiving them, I don't know. So here are the book sleeves for this box. I think they're really cool looking. Um, they have like this edition theme going on on this one it says it's the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life interesting so i do like that quote so yeah these are the bookends i think they're nice they go well together obviously um i think they're really pretty pretty nice um and those are uh inspired by the alchemist um the classic book so yeah that's really, really cool and i do like them so yeah, that's the items for this month. Um, so now let's grab the book out of here. So the book for this month is The Borrow a Bookshop Holiday by Kaylee Dunbar. And this is a completely redesigned book cover. Um, I did not like the original cover, which I'll show right here. The original cover is not that pretty in my opinion, but I do love this redesigned cover. I think it's really, really nice. 
we have the spine there and then the back cover very pretty i do like it and then for the edges on all three sides it's just a bunch of books and i think it looks really, really cool and fun so i do like that um yeah i think that's really, really cool so let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket on the naked hardback very pretty nice um pink folding on there and on the spine and then the back so yeah so the back is like a little it's like inside the bookstore scenery and then a same on the front cover i think they're very pretty and then the end pages i think the end pages are so pretty i love this type of art style in the end pages and they're the same on the back here very pretty i do love the in pages quite a bit and then I'm trying to see if there's if it's sign or not now i just have a digital signature in here but yeah so let's go ahead and try to see what this book is about um all right so before i get into what this book is about i do want to say it does come with a little ribbon bookmark inside which is really really nice Alright, so let's see what this is. So Jude Crawley should be on top of the world. She just graduated as a mature student so she can finally go public about her relationship with Professor Mac until she sees Mac kissing another girl and her dreams crumble and her worst and worse their dream holiday running a tiny bookshop in the harbor village of Cold Floor for two weeks is non refundable. Throwing caution to the wind, Jude heads down to Devon eager to immerse herself in literature and heal her broken heart. But there's one problem, six foot tall, brooding but gorgeous Elliot, who's also reserved the bookshop holiday for two weeks. As Jude and Elliot put their differences aside to run the bookshop, it seems that Jude might be falling in love with more than just words until she discovers that Elliot is running from and why he's setting out in clove lore. Can Jude find her own happy ending in a tiny tumble down bookshop or is she about to find out that her bookish holiday might be might have an unexpected twist in the tale? Okay, so that sounds really really cute to be honest. Um I'm actually very excited to read it now. It sounds really really good. Um so yeah, I'm excited to read this one. Uh let me know your thoughts on the book and on the items. I'm really happy with this box. I love the book. The book is so pretty. And I'm really glad they redesigned the cover because I was really not a fan of the original book cover. This one is so much better. So cute as well. Um, I like the items. All the items are nice. Um, the only thing that I really don't like is just the bowl. But that's because I'm not a eyeliner fan. But everything else is pretty cool. Um, the sleeve is probably my favorite that we see we see the book sleeve. And I really love the book. The book is just very, very stunning. Um, Unplugged really does a really great job with all of their books. So... I'm happy. Um, anyways, let me know your thoughts. Uh, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.